Well, here we are today at Russ's Reef, and just wanted to do an update. This is my 420 gallon tank that I built myself. I did a couple of videos on this beforehand. And uh, this is how it turned out. So far I got a little bit of stuff yet to finish up on this wall as you can see. But this thing's a monster. Here I got my doors. Got enough light up down here to see everything. Got a calcster, a couple of filter bags, just the stuff in general. My mess of wiring that I gotta straighten up. Far everything's doing pretty good. Had a bit of a crash during the uh, during the move, but I'm gonna give you a two-angle shot of this to show you just how big this tank is. It's 80 inches long, 50 inches wide, and 28 inches deep. View from up top. Here's my massive lighting. Running 6 250 watt HQI Phoenix 14Ks and two T5s, a blue and a one blue and one a tinic in the center, just for night, night light basically. There's my new skimmer. This thing is gigantic. I, uh, I, it's an Aquamedic tur Turbo Floater 5000 that I modified by putting a Bubble Blaster 10,000 pump on. And I had to lower the water level in it because the moment I turned, turned the new pump on there, it pretty much shot bubbles straight out the top of the six foot skimmer six and a half foot skimmer but it seems to be working good now as soon as I'm uh, I'm happy with it I'll be taking my smaller SWC offline I bought a fan from the grow shop down here an eight inch duct fan and I use that to blow across my lights here and I got it set up on a temperature controller so once the tank gets past a certain point it just kicks on and it cools the lights lights down seems to work very well don't be able to see this. this is once again down here it's the hammerhead pump that I've been running um, there's my calcium reactor this is a look underneath the tank all the supports the steel the stand is made out of steel and then I've got two by six supports every couple inches going across the whole bottom of it this tanks all made with one inch thick acrylic I bolted it all together with quarter 20 stainless steel screws won't get too much into detail of how I built this thing because it's kind of confusing to explain on video but all the seams are gasketed with 60 thou thick EPDM rubber same with the bottom and the back and the far back side of the tank back there there's my closed loop pump which you can see all the plumbing for back here that pump sucks from there and then pushes through all the rock work there's outlets as you can see one right there there's outlets that poke up into, into all this rock work to flush all the rock work from inside as I've done on my previous tanks another view from up top 
This is looking across the tank widthwise. You can see how wide this tank is. These braces that you see on there, they are, uh, they're glued and screwed in there. So they're not going anywhere. And then I also put braces on this side as bulkheads that I use to uh, put some plumbing through. It's a four inch brace going all the way across. Same thing over on this side. This is just my uh, auxiliary tank. I haven't yet decided what I'm going to, to do with it. Got a little bit of a coral graveyard over there from the move. And all my light ballast, my lighting. But so far the skimmer seems to be a rocking machine. That's I got to adjust the water height a little bit. You can see that skim made in there is a little thin. But uh, that was all made in less than one day. So I think I just got to get a neck extension on there to get the neck up a little higher. But yeah, just to give me an idea how big the skimmer is. I'm about six foot three. <laughs> it's big. So, yep. Yeah, here's the. Uh, this is the update to my 420 gallon do-it-yourself build. And so far, everything is rocking. It's got a little. It's got a lot of work yet to do on it, but it's come a long ways from the idea I had in my head to to this. This is looking lengthwise down the tank. It's 80 inches from one side to the other. Fish love this. There's so much room in here for him to swim. That sail fin's about seven inches long. There's my crazy little clown fishing his mushrooms that he hosts in. I just figured I'd put an update out there for everybody so you can see where where the whole tank went. So my big two big stags I'm gonna let grow into each other. Kind of make a bridge across the cavern. Well, until I get some more work done, get some more corals in here, this is going to be it for a little bit. And uh, I will keep updating as we go. Until then, 